All right, guys, today we're gonna look at some of our 2019 holdbacks. And also, I got a, a cool little present in the mail we're gonna look at. Stay tuned. So real quick, guys, I just want you guys to go check out Predator BP. He does a video every other day, which is just a lot of videoing, and he actually asked us to be in one of his episodes. So we're in one of his videos that premiered on Thursday, December 19th, and uh, so go check it out. And we really appreciate him giving us the opportunity to share our passion and, you know, it was our top three ball pythons or genes to work with. And uh, yeah, it was a good time. He's a good guy and yeah, go check it out. So I got this package in the mail today. I think I know who it's from, um, but I'm not sure 100%, but I think I know what it is. So let's open it up and I'll talk about it. If I'm not mistaken, this is from our good pal Siri. And uh, I was bidding on some auction stuff to help friends of scales to rescue uh, run by Ryan McVeigh's wife now they got married hey congratulations and uh, so I finally yep, I've been trying to win one of these for a long time oh man ask a lot of questions get a lot of answers well, it's an axolotl backpack. I don't know if you've seen these before. They're in the auctions all the time for like uh, US Arc. Somebody hand crochets them. Oh man, it's so cool. It's in here. All kinds of business cards. That's a lot of business cards. Holy crap. I'll have to put these out somewhere. <laughs> so thanks Siri, this is awesome. Super cute. It's mine keeping it I don't care what you think all right on to the next thing so what do you think future care cards oh snap these are care cards for specific creatures with all their needs on them and that's why there's so many, because there's all these species. That's crazy. Look, there's an axolotl. Hey. Flip it, and that's the care. That's pretty cool. It is cool. I was wondering why they sent all these. Look, ball python. What do you think they need? I wouldn't know. Tender love and care and dancing on the weekends. It actually says that? Yep, right there. <laughs> Paragraph four. <laughs> so that's why they all the business cards. <laughs> They're care sheets. Pocket sized care sheets. That's awesome. You're like a little schoolboy. Well, about, to about to go off to school. That's what I'm going for. That's the look I'm going for. We're going to show you guys a few of our holdbacks. We won't do all of them. Um, but I wanted to give you a little update on what we produced as well as uh, just show off some of our really cool animals that we like obviously because we're holding them back. This is a pastel leopard arroyo het clown. Now we had that arroyo clutch that, which a lot of people liked um, and you can see this little girl is just awesome looking. You can see how light her head is. These thick eye bands here. The leopard is real strong. You can see how crazy the pattern is and how dark these pieces are in the banding. And you can see the alien heads where they would be or that pattern is pretty bright from the pastel, which also adds to the head being bright. But then you can see some of these thumbprints, if you will. They're kind of messed up here due to the leopard. So that would be one of the thumbprints there. And then the pattern that we're really looking for is little things like this and how dark things are around the edges is what we, why we think it's a Royo, aside from the fact that we think our female that was the mother 
um, is a Rio, so which would be the super form of Arroyo. So this little girl is definitely one of our holdbacks. We're trying to hold back a lot of this project. We actually only let one, uh, well actually two, a pair, but one from this clutch and one from a clutch previous, um, just to our friend John Danner, and uh, to work with the Arroyo stuff. And uh, yeah, so this is a Het Clown. I'm gonna show you the rest of the clutch, see if we can get them uh, kind of all together. And these are also Pastel Leopard Arroyo Het Clowns. So they're a bit variable when we look at all of them. And we have a few more, they're all very similar actually, but these two are very nice. And you can see there's just subtle differences, but they're just very, very similar see some of the hooking here and you can see some of the alien heads and this one are a little uh, blown out but you still have you still have uh, the dark spots this one's a bit more active but they're bo both almost identical see this belly here Ryan likes to talk about the popcorn on the belly almost where it's like black speckles all along the sides so these are very similar, but Pastel Arroyo Leopard Het Clowns. Everything's going to be 100% Het Clown and Pastel because the sire was a killer leopard clown. We got really good odds with the leopard and uh, the Rio mother. So those are some cool ones. Let me get you a couple more. So this is another one from that same clutch. This is a Pastel Arroyo Het Clown. It didn't get the, the leopard, but this one is a feisty, feisty little mama here. And you can see some of the hooking there. She's probably gonna strike at the camera, but you can see some of the hooking right here. See how dark it is between the alien heads. And you can see it, that blushing. You can see the thumbprints, if you will, up here, coming up the sides. and some putting greens up top here. What's kind of crazy about this one, is it almost looks red striped. It's just real strange. Uh, it's not red striped that we would think because it wasn't in any of the parents, but it's a very, very beautiful Pastel Arroyo Het Clown. Some crazy stuff with it and anything with a mouth can bite. <laughs> so, so that's one more. Definitely a hold back for us. Can't wait to start breeding her. So we got another one from another clutch. This is an Enchi pinstripe. The pairing was an Enchi butter to a pinstripe pastel scaleless head. So that would be a three gene father and we got really good odds on the scales head, but not great odds on the sex. This is a male, but he's going to be an upgrade to our Lemon Blast scaleless head, because he's an Enchi pinstripe, which we like the Enchi. We might keep them both as breeders, but this one will most likely be our male for right now. So we're gonna grow him up, try to get him in there. It's really pretty. I like how, you know, it makes things a lot more, uh, Ryan, I'll get back in here. It makes things a lot more tight and clean. It's almost like a uh, higher DPI on the resolution. The scales get a bit smaller in the scaleless heads and uh, it's just really, really pretty and clean. So I like that. This little boy is a super orange dream Triton. So Triton is Orange Dream, Pastel, Enchi, and Fire. And so this would be the Super Orange Dream, or two Orange Dreams, Enchi, Pastel, Fire. It's a really cool head, super, super clean, really pretty. You can start to see even though the pastel there is pushing that graniting up at the top, a little bit of speckling there. But it's really clean on the sides. The belly is super white. Everything just fades out here. And that's Super Orange Dream. 
I just love that head stamp. I don't know if the camera's picking it up great, but super cool looking. Can't wait for him to start uh, getting big enough to breed. Since it's a lot of jeans, we like to make stuff that's super because then you can have everything that comes from this will be an orange dream. Who doesn't like orange dream? So that's a mail for you. Next on the list of our holdbacks, and I know what you guys are saying, you guys sure have a lot of holdbacks, but we made a couple mistakes over the last few years. If you watch our tips, you know, you might see some of this, but we ended up selling a lot of the, our animals and we kind of regretted it. So now we're holding back kind of a lot this year and it's really just to position us to make some really, really cool and interesting things. This really faded out little girl is a super fly inferno so that would be super pastel fire and then inferno which is uh hidden gene woma yellow belly and then pastel would be in would be fire um would be inferno so it's a super pastel fire hidden gene woma yellow belly you can see how blushed out the head is how crazy this pattern is from the hidden gene woma and just how bright yellow this, the uh, banding is, as well as how white and faded out anything outside of the pattern, just like disappears almost. It's like somebody's taking an eraser. This isn't the eraser gene, but it looks like somebody took an eraser and erased in between the lines. It's a pretty crazy looking animal. Really excited to be working with it. We think the hidden gene Woma is uh, one of those genes that not a lot of people work with, but that is super powerful. So we work a lot with it, and we really hope that you guys uh, enjoy that stuff because we'll be producing a lot of it. So now we're really starting to get confused, but uh, we'll tell you how we figured this one out. So this pretty boy is an Enchi Fire Inferno. So again, the Inferno is Pastel Yellow Belly Hidden Gimoma and then you add Enchi and Fire. So what we've realized is Fire and Inferno create this weird like yellowing here, or oranging I mean, but the, you add the Enchi and all of a sudden it like kind of cleans it up a little bit and brings these flames up higher. Now, obviously it has fire in it because of and you can see some of this blushing here, but the head and the dark in between here tell us or make us think that it has the fire in it, especially since we produce a handful of these different combos and we can kind of see the different uh, expressions. But Hidden Gene Woma makes this pattern all sorts of crazy. Enchi doesn't help to make the pattern, you know, less busy. And then the fire and the Enchi working together to make these huge flames up the side that come right off the belly. And this boy is just beautiful. Um, we have an Enchi Inferno already. That's a breeder, which was the, the father of this guy here. And if you guys look back on one of our videos, we gave away an egg and the sibling, the other brother of this one, was the egg that we gave away or sold for really really cheap actually um it's kind of like a what did we buy but somebody did it with us for an egg I'm not saying that we're going to do that ever again but <laughs> maybe um we enjoy having fun and this is just a really beautiful male and we're excited to upgrade our enchi inferno with this enchi fire inferno just because of how cool they look this pattern is just mind-boggling sometimes the last clutch we're gonna show you guys of holdbacks is our clown holdbacks. So we had a killer leopard clown, which is a super pastel leopard clown. It's a visual male to a Enchi cinnamon het clown. So this girl is the one that Matt Cleaver wanted. We wouldn't sell it to him. This is a pewter leopard het clown female she is super cool looking the pattern just falls apart over here she has this crazy dorsal stripe Woo! and man this pattern just broken up like this 
it's so crazy looking it's like super clean here but then it has this pattern that's pushed down along the sides and that would be the cinnamon and the leopard working together there of course everything would be pastel because it's a super pastel father and it's 100% heck clown and 100% ours that's right 100% not going anywhere not going anywhere <laughs> so, so this is a pastel enchi leopard heck clown it's another heck clown we got good odds on this one as well um we seem to get really good odds with that male with the leopard so you can see this one's not as busy as the other ones but it's obviously pastel because it's all, everything's 100% going to be pastel because it's a killer leopard clown. The Enchi really shows through these oranges and the weird pattern. And then you can see how dark it is in between the pattern and how really messed up these patterns are. Enchi doesn't do this exactly like that these couple going over the top and how dark it is in between here makes it the leopard and then that head is just uh ng leopard all day so and how bright it is obviously is the, the pastel also another female that we'll be keeping all right now we got two more this is a male and a female so these are two of our visual clowns that we produced this year this is a pastel enchi clown and you can see how bright it is and this pattern is just all broken up here down the back and then you just throw in one extra gene of a pastel leopard enchi clown so this adds the leopard and it really just tightens everything up if you look at a visual clown the pattern here is a bit wider so enchi kind of pulls it up pulls all the alien heads to the top and then when you add leopard, it even does it more. So you get this crazy band here, almost a fiddle on its head. Some people have said that about it. And just the colors are so nice. This one is so much lighter because the pastel and it doesn't have the leopard that pulls everything together. And this one's seeming to stay pretty orange here in the sides because that Enchi and Leopard working together so well. These two are very, very awesome animals. We're excited to be working with them as well as the other ones. Um, of course, female we'll be keeping. Male is a good upgrade to what we have. So uh, we'll also be keeping him, putting him in some other projects. A lot of people will tell you to keep a whole bunch of females and keep very few males so you can spread them around a bit. But we're running into an issue this year where we have a lot of females and we kind of, you know, working with a handful of males that we're like, I wish we had a few more. So this year we're definitely going to hold back a few more males and maybe buy a couple more males. Um, well, we bought some males as you probably have seen before, one of our other videos, but we may buy a couple more males. I know a lot of people say it's not a good idea, but let me tell you, sometimes you just want to work certain projects. And again, you guys need to just pick what you guys want and what, what you're passionate about. And that way, when you are working with the genes, you don't get tired out and say, ah, oh, it's just another gene, or I'm doing it just for you know the money or whatever. You get things that you're really passionate about and you can make some really beautiful animals like these. So these are our holdbacks, some of them, and we will uh, definitely update you guys on the rest of the holdbacks. I want you guys to do me a huge favor. Comment below and tell us what your favorite holdback is that we produced this year. I don't know if you've seen it in uh, other videos. If you did and you call those ones out, uh, it'll be extra points for you. <laughs> but don't forget about our reptile dinner that we're doing on December 27th in Deptford, New Jersey at Mission Barbecue at 6 p.m. So it's a Friday night after Christmas and uh, we're gonna have a good time. We're gonna have a bunch of people there and maybe we'll sell out this Mission Barbecue, who knows. But um, some really beautiful animals and we can all talk about them there. And thank you so much. Make sure you like this video and subscribe to our channel and hit that notification bell down there so that you can get updates whenever we post stuff. We try to do it every Tuesday and Friday. So stay tuned for that stuff and uh, 
We really appreciate you guys watching. Are you panning or am I panning? <laughs> I'll pan. You pan? <laughs> you just hold still. <laughs> Alright, still filming?